Hello everybody, RV living with the geezer. And I'm up here in Fort Davis again. And uh, I'm behind the fire department, fire station up here. It's a volunteer fire department. There's the courthouse right over there. But uh, what I want to show you, I just spotted this, uh, they call the Fort Davis Fire Department here the Mile High Volunteers because of the uh, elevation here. It's a mile high and higher. This big old, this is a big old uh, six by, an old army six by that they've converted into a wildland firefighting truck, which they have lots of, they have a lot of use for it up here. They get some pretty good uh, brush fires going. The difference between these and your regular city fire trucks is these have the capability to uh, pump water and roll at the same time, where the regular pumpers in the cities don't, uh, they have to be stationary to pump. See, there's the, uh, that's the auxiliary pump on the back of it right there. And that, I would say that tank right there, oh, what is that? Oh, four. Oh, heck. I could figure it out if I knew the measurements of it. That's probably at least a thousand gallon tank on there. At least. But uh, yeah, these old six buys. Uh, the, the Forest Service, Texas Forest Service, I know when I was in the volunteer department, they. Uh, they gave us one and we outfitted it. They just, you know, they give you the truck and you're responsible for getting all the uh, pumps and tanks and everything put on it, which we, back then, we did it all ourselves. I'm sure these guys do too. But uh, I'll back off from this. This is awful, awful close here. I don't want to be opening their cab doors and stuff to show you the inside. See, there's another one without the... Uh, they haven't outfitted that one yet, but it's a huge help, I tell you, to get a free chassis like that, you know, cabin chassis. So, yeah, there's there's that one. It's ready to go. They've got some nice equipment here in the station, too. You know, they've got your regular structural trucks, and like I say, they, they do a lot of wildland firefighting, so... Uh, Back in 2011, they had a fire up here. It started over in Marfa, and it was called, you can Google this, it was called the Rock House Fire because it started right behind a rock house over there. A guy, I believe a guy was welding, and we had high winds. I was living in Alpine at the time, and that fire to this day is the largest wildland fire in the history of Texas. It, uh, by the time it burned, uh, a lot of homes here in Fort Davis were lost. It w it swept right through here and went down towards Balmeray. I think that fire traveled like 50 to 60 miles and was like 10 miles. Uh, said it burned 315,000 acres. So uh, it, it was like 10 miles wide and... Uh, uh, 10 miles wide and m maybe 50 miles uh, long by the time it finally got stopped. It took 28 days to contain that fire. They had people in here from all over the state, well, all over the nation actually helping them. So the Forest Service, of course, responds. Lots of times out here, uh, the Forest Service... I've seen the guys playing football over on the courthouse lawn when they were just, they they staged them up here. They put them up in motels and uh, during fire season. Uh, this is a pretty active area out here, just depending on how much rain we've had. And they, out here, we don't get much rain. So, uh, yeah, it looks like they're fixing to start working on this one. But anyway, I, Blanca and I were just driving by. There's the old geezer mobile over there. I said, I'll do a little video on that six by. Like I say, it, uh, 
back when I was on the I was on the Leon Springs Volunteer Fire Department before I became a career firefighter, and I tell you what, back then we struggled uh, financially. That was in Bear County down there by San Antonio, and the county back then gave us two hundred and fifty dollars a month, and that was it. The rest of us, the rest of it was up to us to raise. We had barbecues and all sorts of fundraisers back then. And these volunteer fire departments still do that. You know, there's a lot of them that still struggling. So it's always good to support your, your volunteer fire department if you have one in your area. Yep. All right, guys. That's about it from Fort Davis. I think I'm be moving back up here pretty darn quick. Might be my next video, I don't know. We're supposed to be getting some rough weather uh, tomorrow going into Thursday. They're predicting up to six inches of snow out here, so we'll see. All right, guys, talk to you later. Adios, bye-bye.